Hey folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again. Today, well, we have the ally, best friends, whatever the biff that is, um, Alex Bowman, Chevrolet Camaro. Some people like this paint scheme, but to tell you the truth, I love it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop it out of the box. Alrighty, folks, brand new, out of the good old box, and check out this paint scheme. Look, th this is really a cool looking diecast. I know some people said the diecast, you know, the car doesn't look that good because, you know, it's a two tone, half and half paint job. But to me, it looks beautiful. I love this freaking car here, guys. This is a hot looking diecast. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, this car, I believe, is ran at the spring uh, Phoenix race. Way back in the springtime, and the, the Ally Best Friends promotion, I believe, is a, a partnership with some type of animal shelter or foundation, which is always cool. You know, I'm a big dog fan myself, so uh, pretty cool stuff. I uh, got the Bowman uh, decal right there. I got the Chevrolet bow tie there. I got the front Ally decal, which is just a fraction off center, unfortunately. But, you know, in a weird way, it kind of looks cool. I don't know why, but the odd stripe kind of being, like, since the paint scheme is just really out there, kind of a like a, a crooked stripe kind of looks cool. I don't know why. Maybe I'm crazy. I got the 48 right there. I got the Snoko decal, Hendrick Motorsports. Let's go to the left side of this car here and take a closer look at it. So the first thing when I seen this car getting produced, I said, how are they going to do the gradient? That was probably my biggest concern. Are they going to really do this gradient justice? And let me tell you, fellas, uh, I am here to confirm they knocked it out of the park on this. So check this out. So the car is shot with a very bright kind of a tied orange, not fluorescent, but just a solid Home Depot tied orange. But generally when they have these gradient paint schemes, because the purple is all decal, these are pixels. And you can even see the pixels right there. So look at my left thumb right here. You see those little bumps, those little dots? Those are like pixels, right? So it's super difficult to make that look realistic as a, a gradient, as a transition. It's hard to describe to, to, to those who, you know, who don't really regularly collect these things and understand the, the printing and stuff like that for the small scale. But basically what it is, it makes it extremely tough to replicate that. I have to give them a 10 out of 10 job on this, guys. They knocked the gradient out of the park with this one. So you got the Goodyear decal right there. Got the 48 Cup Series race car. Uh, Alex Bowman. I like that. The white and orange right there it looks really good. Exalta, Akron's, uh, what is it? Freightliner, Mac Tools, Simeon's, and Cincinnati Industries. Valvoline, Best Friends. You got the, what is that, a doggo right there? I have no clue. Or is it two people on like a seesaw? I, I have no clue. It's an interesting image. Uh, Microsoft, HendrickCars.com, the 48 right there. And the whole paint scheme goes down the side skirts. So, I mean, this is a really, really cool looking car. And I look at the back end of the car now and I'm like, you sure this is not a Clemson Tigers die cast? Because it certainly looks like a college football one now that I look at it from this angle. Uh, so the whole back end of the car carrying on that Dale Earnhardt Jr. tradition, having the back end of the car all black. Uh, hashtag save them all. Gotta love that, you know. 48, uh, Z01 Camaro 1LE, Valvoline. You know, if there's one thing everyone can agree on, I think it would be um, pets, doggos, cats, whatever it may be. Animals, man. Animals are the coolest thing. So go to the right side of this die cast here. Now you can clearly see uh, the right side decal is a little bit higher up than it needs to be. Um, you can see how this, this ridge is exposed. The 48 is a little too high up. And I want to say the 48, now they're the same size, but... Uh, this 48 is a little bit raised up. Uh, that's okay though. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna nitpick too much. I still am happy they got this diecast produced. I will say though. I will say though. I'm, you know, I, I want to be honest with y'all. This front wheel right here does not roll too well. So that's that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, when I check this car, it looks like the rivets and everything are good. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a bad axle. It happens. Go to the roof of the diecast, and to tell you the truth, I think the roof is my favorite part of this car, and I'll explain now. So you see the four right here? There looks like there's a small outlining to it, and I can't tell if it's orange or pink, but whatever it does, it looks so cool. This outlining around the white four uh, with the dark purple kind of transitioning to a sunrise orange. I don't know why, guys, but that looks so clean, bro. This is a very clean car. Uh, I got Ally do it right right there on the, uh, the roof flaps. Bowman once again, Ally with the pet paws right there. Look, fellas, this is another great example of a die cast looking so much better than the real race car. You know, I feel like when most people seen the car on the racetrack, it's a, it's a, there's a little bit, you know, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, something missing. But I feel like with the die cast, it just works, baby. I love this car. 
Uh, this is a really, really nice looking paint scheme. Here's the box design. You know me, I would have loved to see a, um, a, a, a full wrapped box. You know, just do it half purple and half orange. And to tell you the truth, I could go take two cans of Krylon and I could make this box like that. But that's besides the point. Look, this is a really cool die cast. If you're a Bowman cat, this is certainly a paint scheme you're going to want to have in your collection. I don't think it's ever going to be super rare enough in any, in any day, but I just think this is an awesome looking car, man. The Ally Best Friends Chevrolet Camaro. You know, when I think of purple, pink, and white, there's a lot of things they could have done to this car to make it not work, but somehow they incorporated bright Home Depot home improvement orange with purple and pink, and somehow they made it work. So I, I, I got to give the Hen, uh, Hendrick uh, paint department a great job on that one. The gradient, I'm telling you, they could not have made that gradient any better, guys. I, I've seen a lot of gradients on these die casts, and some of them are butchered, man. Uh, let, let's not forget about the uh, Hendrick, uh, or the 2019, I think it was. Yeah, 2019 William Byron Darlington car. That thing was roached. This is how you do a gradient, guys, so... Uh, I'm going to give this car a solid 9.5 out of 10. Highly recommend it, guys. You're going to want to make sure you pick up one. Uh, lots of Bowman stuff coming out right now, fellas. It's that time of the year where we finally get all the drivers we've been waiting all year for. Check out the dog to throwback for Alex Bowman. Look, I know LW3 is a huge Bowman fan. Uh, so he's going to be interested in getting one of these cars if he hasn't already. But you're going to get some Bowman die casts. And, of course, uh, the primary paint scheme. It is finally out there. And, you know, who, how can we forget about his uh, his awesome teammate, Kyle Larson? These cars we've been waiting all freaking year are now released, guys. So complete your Alex Bowman 2021 collection today. Get your Alex Bowman cars while you can. And, um, yeah, Larson stuff is just, it, it, it's selling like hotcakes. If you thought Chase Elliott stuff sold quickly... Good luck, because the Kyle Larson stuff is smoking the show. Uh, but absolutely, guys, this is a cool-looking die cast here. And if you ever want to get free shipping or anything, guys, you know what to do. Promo code down below, same as the YouTube channel, username, diecastbuffet at checkout at circlebdiecast and blambysales.com. Any orders, $20 or more. Uh, but yeah, guys, what do y'all think about this car? Because I know there's there's some people out there who, who've been very questionable of this paint scheme. And I totally understand that, because when you look at this car on the racetrack, it does not look anywhere like the die cast. I'm just going to be honest with you. The die cast looks so much better to me. And I feel like if you ran this car 10 years ago, it would clash. But it, today, in, in you know, 2021 going into 22, it just looks really modern. It really does. It looks really modern. I think this is a very well done car, guys. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you can, please give it a huge thumbs up. And I hope you have a fantastic day out there. Diecast Buffet. Hope to see you in the next video. Sign off.